I cannot believe we have reached this time of the year again. <laughs> That is right, Booktubeathon is upon us. And for those of you who don't know, Booktubeathon is the reason I started making Booktube videos last year. So, we're going in this year. As far as what Booktubeathon is, it is a seven day full week readathon challenge that has seven different challenges that you can you can either complete within that time, you can take some, you can leave some, you can do none. The point is to try to read as much as you can within that seven days week time and just join together in the celebration of that reading. I'm gonna link all of the Booktubeathon channel information below as well as all of the challenges that are available. But my hope in this video, as you already know by the title, is that I'm going to pick my TBR right now. And some of the challenges in picking my TBR require a little bit of decision making or action. So without further ado, we're going to do that now. For the very first Booktubeathon challenge this year, you had to pick two books and flip a coin to see which of the books would be your first read. So we're gonna do that right now. The two books I chose are both YA books because I thought that that would be a good kickoff for reading. It usually is for me. And the first book, which is going to be Tales, is Aftercare Instructions. And the second book, is wonderful feels like this and I feel like either way I'm really not losing out because I've been really looking forward to both of these so let's see which one is picked okay I've got my coin let's see what happens We're reading aftercare instructions. <laughs> that in itself was already so fun, and when I'm struggling to pick a book, that will be my new method, because that worked just fine. The second challenge to set up your TBR was to pick a book that focuses on something that you want to do. And the way that I interpreted that was something that I wished I had done, or would like to do in the future at some point. Um, but I picked the graphic novel, Be Prepared, because I always wanted to either go to sleepaway camp or be a counselor at a sleepaway camp, and I felt like this would be like the perfect book to focus on that, because look how cute she is. I've already shown this on here, but I just can't. I still haven't read it, so now's the time. The third challenge was to pick a book that is a book to movie adaptation and I don't really have a lot of books that have movies that are already made and I think that that's technically like what this challenge is hoping for that you'll read it and then watch it so I kind of went a little bit off on this one but the book I chose is Dumplin and it is being made into a movie but it is not yet released so my hope is that I'll read this and then watch it because all of the books that I've already, that have movies already made, I've already read. Did I say that right? The books I own that have movies already made are movies I've already seen. So otherwise I would have done like Love, Simon or something, but I've already seen it. So, and read it. So I haven't read Dumplin' yet, I just got it in my book outlet order and I've been really looking forward to it and this is the perfect time to prepare for the movie release and finally get this read. The next challenge was to pick a book that has green on the cover and that, I mean, it, it could be any amount of green or anything like that. So the book I chose was Station Eleven. There is green there and the entire back is green so that works. I've been really looking forward to reading this one and I definitely haven't made the time 
that's something I'm really grateful for for this whole readathon is that these are all books I really want to read but I just haven't made a great amount of time for so really excited about this one that's my green it counts it counts okay this one what number are we on so the fifth book choice challenge is to pick a book and a hat that you'll wear the entire time reading that book and don't have many hat selections and if you've watched previous videos also have really bad hat anxiety because they don't work on me um, but I'm gonna do it because I'm going for it this year for certain and um, the book I chose is The Grey Bar Hotel and uh, it's like just short enough to where I think I can stand wearing a hat the whole time and the choices are limited in the hat department because I have the hat that I really got to fix my anxiety around hats and my University of Oregon alumni hat that I wear usually in summer water like settings. So um, things aren't looking great over here because <laughs> this is awful. Just a real um, dad hat scenario going on here that is working for nobody. Um, what about backwards? Do we have like a backwards mo- oh, nope. Things only get worse. Just what? Probably not gonna work. And then we have this one that- can you just imagine like I can't snuggle up wearing this hat? What is anything? Oh my gosh. I've also committed to vlogging this whole experience of reading throughout Booktubeathon. Uh, poor you that has to watch this. That's the realness here. So I guess you'll find out in those vlogs which one I chose um, because the other hats I have are even worse than those. So, nope. <laughs> the sixth reading challenge or building your TBR book challenge is to pick a book with a beautiful spine. And to be honest, that's the reason I bought this book. <laughs> That's just a real indicator of book buying problems is I bought this book for the cover and spine and it is my name is Leon and look at how pretty the spine is. Oh my gosh and on a paperback just killing it. Um, I have minimal information of what this is even about so this will be the perfect challenge and will hopefully be enlightening to um, why <laughs> I don't know why I'm buying books and what kind of books I'm buying on a whim. So uh, this will get read and we'll see how it goes. And my last and final pick for Booktubeathon and the seventh challenge is to read seven books. And so for my uh, Saving Grace seventh book choice, I picked volume four of Paper Girls, which I bought a little while ago because I couldn't stand it anymore not having it and I'm finally gonna read it and I'm hoping by the end of Booktubeathon if I'm feeling a little spent that this will be what can bring it home for me. So let's look at what we got here. The final stack. Wow. Oh my gosh. Dream big, right? I mean, I do have two graphic novels, which really helped me last book to with Don, um, and a YA. I think Dumplin's also considered YA. This has to be, I mean, right? I can do this, right? We can do this. Right. Oh, sorry, wait. We can do this, right? <laughs> oh, I won't be um, offended if any of you choose to not follow along because we're starting off with the bar so high, how can we possibly get any higher, right? But in all realness, I do feel really excited about Booktubeathon. This readathon is really what gave me the inspiration and like just enough of the push to really become invested in Bookstagram and to really start making booktube videos, which I know has not been great or consistent or anything, but my hope is that this will be the kickoff to a new start for me. My hope is to also use a real camera for this event instead of my iPhone, 
which is what I always film on. <laughs> Are we surprised? The audio is just fantastic. Um, no, it's not. But I hope you join in on some of the fun. I feel like if you've been questioning booktube for a while or anything in this little bookish corner of the internet, this is a really great place to start. You by no means have to read all seven books. I think people rarely do. And it's just a good way to motivate yourself to do a little bit more reading and maybe be a little bit more fun or intentional about some of the picks that you're making. Plus, we all get to watch each other be a hot mess all week trying to read as much as we can and filming it for what purpose? I don't know. Just entertainment, I suppose. Really love to hear what you all picked for your TBRs or what your coin flip resulted in, anything like that. I'm just so excited to talk about any of it, so let's talk about it, please. And I'll be posting updates on my Instagram as well. Those poor souls that want nothing to do with this that will have to hear about it anyway. And I think that's it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to ask them below or refer to the booktube. They have an Instagram and a YouTube channel. So all the information will be down below. All the books I picked will be down below. And that's all. I will see you next time. I don't know how I'm going to read all those books. <laughs>